guys um so you guys already saw me do this look um and because i have some time i decided to do another video and this video is basically going to be things to know about me my full name is <laughs> Tony Lee Maryfield. The Mary comes from my dad's grand, um, my dad's mom, which is my gran. Um, her second name is also Mary. Um, my parents were going to call me Tony, um, but then my gran was like, that's a boy's name. And then they added the Lee on it. <laughs> This is an interesting one that I actually found out the other day. Um, when, when my mom gave birth to me, she was 23 and um, she gave birth to me on the 4th of July. It was a Thursday and this year I am turning 23 on the 4th of July on a Thursday. Weird. My star sign is Cancer. I'm a Cancerian. Um, very emotional people. <laughs> Thank you, astrology. My favorite color was always turquoise, aqua, turquoise slash aqua. <laughs> um, but it's recently become like all colors. Um, I don't think I have a favorite color anymore. I have four guinea pigs. Um, each of my guinea pigs ends in a Lee, like L double E, like my name. Uh, that being said, my guinea pigs' names are Harley. Hadley, Chili, and Millie. Um, they're all girls. I had a boy, but he was just making babies. So unfortunately, very, very sadly, I had to give them away, give him away um, because it's very, very dangerous to neuter guinea pigs because um, they might not make it out of the procedure and I didn't want to take that chance. So unfortunately, I had to give give him away his name his name was or is i guess his new owners probably gave him a new name now um but i used to call him charlie um also ended with the l double e um yeah so and chili um she is the baby of harley and charlie so i decided to combine the two names so it's Ch chili <laughs> I grew up in Goodwood and Tableview. I say both because half my life was in Goodwood and for the last 10 years I've been here in Tableview. My dad's been staying in Tableview for about, I wanna say 15 or 16 years, maybe. I studied events management at Varsity College. Um, I do wanna go study again. I'm just working on that at the moment. Um, I may want to study psychology, hopefully I'll get accepted for it, if I do I'll be so happy. My favourite movie genres are horror and thriller, I just love the suspense and the way it makes you feel when you're watching it, I just I am like love adrenaline. I wouldn't call myself an adrenaline junkie though because that would mean doing some really 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 weird stuff and I'm not for that because I'm also very very cautious and paranoid at the same time <laughs> um, my favorite movie however is not a horror or a thriller it's Alice in Wonderland I love the the very first Alice in Wonderland that came out in like 1992 I think it was and um, the cartoon um, and then I love the newer Alice in Wonderlands that came out the two that came out um, yeah, I love it. I read up on Alice in Wonderland and I don't know how true it was, but the story sort of came from a guy used to take um, his cousin, his little cousin on a boat ride and he would tell him these stories. And these stories would be about Alice in Wonderland. And I think the first time it was ever written down, Alice in Wonderland, was the 4th of July. 1982 i think it was or 18 i'm gonna get the facts for you and let you know um but i know it was it was something about it was like the fourth of july it was like on my birthday so it was quite weird to me when i did the research on that my favorite music genre i wouldn't say i have a favorite music genre i love all 
most music. I'm not going to say all music because I don't like all music. <laughs> I love most music. Um, I just really like good music, I guess. I don't have a music genre, I just like good music. She waited from Table View High in 2014, um, obviously passing grade 12. My talent is singing. Um, a video will be coming soon. <laughs> My hidden talent is I can tie um, a cherry stem with my tongue, like with just my tongue. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite weird and cool at the same time. <laughs> I've been dating my high school sweetheart since I was 16 years old. We're still together. I'm turning 23 and he turned 24 in May. Um, his name is Dylan McKinley. My natural hair color is like a golden brown, dark kind of blonde color. My favorite sport is soccer. Um, I play soccer and also my favorite team is Liverpool. The 2019 Champions League Cup winners. <laughs> Sorry, Man United fans. I am obsessed with shopping. <laughs> Like, if I could do shopping as a job, as a career, I would probably be a millionaire. Like, really. I love to shop. I'm a really, really, really good cook. Um, I think it's because of my love for being in the kitchen. I hate coffee. I don't like coffee. But I do like the smell of coffee. Like, waking up in the morning to a fresh pot of coffee, or walking into a barista and smelling coffee, or... Um, going for breakfast and smelling coffee. I love that, but I don't like drinking it. I've tried it numerous times. I've honestly tried every type of coffee. I've Basically, I've tried to love coffee, but we just ain't gonna work, guys. Coffee and I, we just need to go our separate ways and just stay that way. Chocolate is the love of my life. I love 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 chocolate i will never want to part with chocolate ever um it is the one thing that i will choose if, if ever you want to buy me something you can never ever ever go wrong with chocolate i love dark chocolate i like milk chocolate i kind of like white chocolate but not really because it's not actually chocolate and but i i mean i'll eat it because i love chocolate <laughs> Um, there's this new ruby chocolate that I really want to try. It's made from like a ruby cocoa, but I, I don't know. It's a certain name. That seems quite cool. I really want to try it. If you know where to get it, please leave it down in the comment section. Um, yes, and I will basically breathe in an entire slab of ramen raisin Cadbury chocolate. I literally open it and I breathe and it's I hate, hate, hate taking medication. Um, I would rather like suffer through whatever I'm going through. Like medication would be my last, like my last, last resort. I hate taking medication. I, I literally every time I get sick, my mom or my gran has to like force medication down my throat. Not like physically like force it down my throat, but they have to like sort of scold me. <laughs> to drink the medication. Dylan does it as well because I just, I, I, I hate it. I hate medication. I have trypophobia, okay? Um, trypophobia, if you don't know, is the fear of small holes. Ooh. Triggered from when I was a kid, um, we were at Camps Bay and I was playing in the rock pools and I put my finger in a sea urchin and it sort of like shot things into my finger and it sort of just created these little, ooh, these little holes underneath my skin. Um, ooh, it freaks me out just thinking about it. Um, so yeah, so that's where it started. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about this because I, it, really it really freaks me out so just type in trypophobia i'll put the word down here <laughs> um on to google and it will give you ex and click images and it will give you the exact images of what the hell trypophobia 
is. It's so gross. Like, I hate bubbles. Like, you know, like bubbles in the bath or bubbles like when you're doing the dishes. I can't stand it because of my trypophobia. It freaks me out. Like, really freaks me out. And some people actually have trypophobia and they don't even know it. Yeah. The feeling of, or the texture of my fingertips or my hands. Or, it's actually just my fingertips on clean dishes or, or dishes that come out of a dishwasher oh it freaks me out i don't know what it is but the texture of my fingertips and the clean dish it really it's just this like like rubbery like i don't know how to explain it it's like scratching on a chalkboard <laughs> i hate talking about these things because then i like picture it and it starts freaking me out also dislike the sound of chewing like a lot but i'm sure everyone hates that like everyone <laughs> i have a history of bad luck with my middle finger um it's on my right hand this middle finger it it started with the sea urchin that stung me um or released something into my finger um and then the next thing that happened to it was it's the only bone that i've ever broken um i broke like the tip bone over there um i I broke it during softball um so it was like the tip bone over there it was the, bo the the bone and then the tenon that just my finger was like hanging like it didn't want to move just very very painful um yeah so it's the only bone i've ever broken and then more recently um like three years ago i cut it i don't know if you can see the mark on my finger um i i cut it right down to the bone like it was really bad and I was supposed to go for stitches and I didn't want to because um, needles freak me out <laughs> needles really freak me out so badly and then when I have to numb my finger I just I couldn't I couldn't do it I couldn't I had enough trauma to deal with on my finger I just could not do it <laughs> so um, all they did was wrap it up and I had to just take care of it but it, it healed, um, it still has the mark there, but the one thing I do regret is that because it didn't get stitched up, I don't think that my nerves in my finger were like properly like grew back together because my finger sometimes like it's always swollen now, like it stays swollen forever and this part here and this part here, they like don't feel like together if that makes sense and sometimes when it's cold in winter if i wake up in the morning my fingers like really swollen and yeah i think this finger is just really bad bad luck i'm one of four children i'm the eldest um i have two sisters and a brother um my sister is 16 my brother is three and no, my brother is four my brother is Three. No, my brother's four, and my sister, my little sister, is three. Um, yeah, so I'm the oldest. My favorite, 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 favorite desserts is peppermint crisp tart. It is the best. Um, my boyfriend's mom makes the best peppermint crisp tart, though. Like, it's so good. It is so, it's my favorite, favorite dessert. I have to, have to, have to fall asleep to a fan being on. Um, it doesn't have to be on me. In summer it has to be on me because obviously it's hot. But in winter it doesn't have to be on me. It just has to be on. Um, because I love the white noise. I can't fall asleep without the white noise. It's really weird. Also, fall asleep like almost immediately to the sound of a hairdryer. Um, I think it's because when I was younger, um, my grand would always like 6am in the morning. She'd be, when she used to work, I used to go and lay in her bed. Like she'd get up and I'd go lay in her bed. Um, this was during the school holidays and she used to like blow, be blow drying her hair because she'd be getting ready to go to work and I used to like wake up at six in the morning and just like that sound and the heat would just like it would just put me in a daze and just put me fast asleep and I think I've just developed that to up until now up until being an adult my favorite favorite season is winter mainly because I love 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 um the winter attire also i find that um 
with winter, you can put on many layers of clothing to keep warm. But in summer, you can only take as much off. Like, once you strip down naked, like, what are you gonna do? Like, <laughs> you, it's not like you can take your skin off. <laughs> so yeah, I hate summer. My body temperature is always warm. It's always, always warm. Like, I'm constantly heated. Um, and in, in winter, I have to sleep in summer PJs, like a shorts and like a t-shirt or tank top because my body heats so warm otherwise I'll have a complete restless sleep I am not a morning person at all like no no um, I try to be a morning person I try to be nice in the morning but I'm just not a morning person I love my sleep too much um, let's put it this way I'm a morning person when I have woken up without an alarm like if I've woken up on my own and not an alarm waking me up, then then I'm a morning person. But if I wake up like super early with an alarm, then I'm just like, no, like don't talk to me for like three hours. And unlike most people who drink coffee and then like get happy, I don't drink coffee. So just, just don't talk to me. And if there is any other questions that you may have about me, Leave it down in the comments section. Yeah, but thank you. I have to go and change my outfit for the event. And um, yeah, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and why my face looks like this, I will link that video in the description box down below so you can click and watch that. Have a lovely week, a lovely evening or morning whenever you are watching this. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to click subscribe like share tag all of those good things i love the support i'm so happy you support me and i promise to bring you good content from here on out bye